What's going on guys, Chris here with Gaming Kinda, and I wanted to try a different kind of post. Um, so I'm, I'm calling this What's Up Weekly, but basically it's it's kind of a mix between like the mailbox openings that you see in some gold making communities in WoW, um, and just like general progress, because as I look down the horizon, we have a lot of great games coming online. Um, we have a lot in November, we have a lot in December. Uh, there's a lot of delays, which means the early part of next year could be abnormally packed. Um, and so I wanted to kind of like organize my thoughts and feel like I know where I'm headed. Uh, so what is upcoming in like the immediate future? What do I need to tackle right now? Uh, in World of Warcraft, we go into the Scourge event tomorrow, November 10th. Uh, it is November 9th as of this recording. And we that is the event that is going to bring you up to raid gear. It's going to temper you for the Shadowlands and get you prepared for that. Um, that will allow you to kind of be uh, given a little bit of a hint on lore. But most importantly for people who maybe aren't, lore is not their first and foremost reason for playing games, is that it will get you a chance to catch any alts up to just general raiding gear. I think it'll probably be around that like 110 standpoint. Um, and that'll prepare us for our expansion. Reminder, that is November 23rd. Um, so that is coming out right around the actual anniversary of World of Warcraft. That'll actually be 23rd, 24th, depending on where you are in the world. Um, and I know for many of us, we had planned on October 27th, and with the delay, it may be hard for us to all play on expansion day. I, I love playing any game on its expansion day. Um, even if it's a buggy mess, I just love being part of that rush. All these people who have a shared interest sharing this experience with me. I, I have a blast on that. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to play on the 23rd, 24th, 25th. Um, because I, I just, I have other things going on in my life and this wasn't really the plan. I might have tried to move things around, but this is where we're at now. Um, but it'll still be there. It'll be there a week late. It'll be there two weeks late. It'll be there six months late. Uh, just in my mind, isn't quite as fun. Uh, in 14, it's just more of the same. So staying in Boja, staying in Yokai Watch, um, waiting on 5-4. Uh, it's a good place to be. There's lots to do. But for anybody who's already gotten all their weapons and already finished Yokai, um, it can be kind of a holding pattern between patches here. We're mid-cycle, and in mid-cycle in expansion, can be a time when if you are able to stay caught up, there's not as much to do because it's it's not designed to stay caught up. So try getting into crafting, gathering. They have relics now. It's a whole thing. Um, go dive into a system you haven't dived into before or play something different. Yoshi P encouraged you to take breaks. Uh, we move into Destiny 2 Beyond Light tomorrow. Um, so with Xbox Game Pass, that'll be included on the Xbox side. But since we're not on the Series X yet, you will have to deal with those ridiculous load times. If you want to play somewhere else, GeForce Now, Stadia on PC, um, then you'll have to buy a copy of that if you've not already. So having Game pass. Um, I want to play it on Xbox where it's free, but I just don't know that I will be able to um, deal with those load times. So if I have people to play with over on PC, I may end up purchasing that. Xbox Game Pass should be able to make that jump where like through GeForce and stuff, you'll have access to that even if you don't have a powerful PC. But hopefully sometime in 2021, ideally early in 2021, we've we've heard that that's coming. We just don't have an exact date. Uh, the 13th, Friday, we are getting Call of Duty World War, uh, Cold War. Uh, so, is that the 80s? Is that right? This, that's a political question. Um, so, I, I think that's right. Um, that's something that I play. I play games once a week with a group of guys spanning as far back as my brothers in high school up through friends from college. Um and it's a little group of us, and uh, Call of Duty is the is the next game that will satisfy everybody in that group well enough. So we are going to go play that on Friday. I really look forward to the early, um, not everybody's prestige, not everybody has whatever weapon they end up tying behind a season pass. Um, early on, it should be really fun. It'll be fun to try new maps and try new guns and just, just have a lot of fun with them. So what do I need to have done? Um... Last week, seeing this coming, what did I need to be working on and what do I need to be working on today on Monday um, as I prepare for the week? Uh, nothing I can do for Call of Duty except be ready. It's a 250 gig download. Just be ready. Um, be ready for the download to take forever. Be ready for a day one patch to take forever. Just, just be emotionally prepared for that. Destiny, um, I'm really not worried about jumping straight into Beyond Light content. Uh, I should be all good there. Final Fantasy, it's just more of the same. We'll talk about some goals, some long-term goals I have there in a bit. Uh, and then in World of Warcraft, um, for the Scourge event, I want as many level 50s as possible. I have four level 50s now. I have four that I'm working on getting to 50 before the... Um, 
the expansion comes out, those four, Warrior is at 40, Paladin's at 30. Those are the two that I'm really most interested in. And then I have two other uh, Druids, one for being a dual gatherer and one for being a speed Druid um, so that my main can be freed up because I was running lax and speed runs on my main before. And I've had mining on my main since 2004. So like since, since vanilla. And um, that's... That's not really ideal. Um, that's not really optimal. So I would like to be able to drop that profession for the first time. I don't know what's going to go in its place, but it'll be enchanting and something. Uh, I got a lot of options there. So once that character's at cap, I'll feel safe dropping mining. Um, so I need to get those there. I need to keep that moving along. But really... At this point, it's also, what can I be working on for long goals? When you look at people who have all their characters leveled in an exp in something, have an immense amount of wealth in a game, have really cool mounts and minions unlocked, have all the achievements, have all this stuff, it can be really overwhelming. Like, where do I get started? Um, and in the last month, I have hit the hard reset in both games. I am the poorest I've been relative to the economy in WoW um, in since since I took a break for WAD. Um I just don't feel, and that's relative to the economy. So the numbers are always getting larger, but like relative to the economy, I just don't feel very wealthy right now. Um, and in Final Fantasy, I'm the poorest I've been uh, since Heaven's Word. So I'm down below 5 million gold for the gill for the first time in a long time. Uh, I spent like 12 million in the last four weeks. Um, I've spent 300 to 500k gold in that same amount, of, uh, actually in half that time. So some of that's been around like testing for gill and gold guides and stuff. So some of that will come back. But with testing, sometimes I'm testing the limits on something, which means inherently that I'm investing in something, believing I may have crossed that limit. And usually like some of that ends up being losing money. How much can I spend on this for this shuffle to work? Um, and to verify that or to verify the number of tests, sometimes like I want to test it at a price point, but there isn't enough material at that price point. So I just buy it above that price point anyway, just so I can like test drop rates and things uh, when you're doing like materia shuffles and all of that. I wanted to test some drop rates. And so I, I, I spent an enormous amount of wealth in both games in the last month. Um, hopefully working towards some guides over on Glittering Magpie, which uh, it's just a placeholder channel right now. It's got one guide on it, but that would be the goal is to get that channel up to speed. And for that, I wanted to be able to do some really cool stuff. Um, so I, I want to make more money. I want to, um, I want to start getting ideally wealthier than I've been before, which starts by just undoing the damage I did. Uh, so I started not emptying my mailbox as of like Friday and uh, just so that I knew this video was coming and I made I made 35k in WoW uh, and then in the last week uh, I've made back 1.8 million in 14 so it was a pretty good week in 14 we'll see if that's sustainable um, some of that's tied to stuff I was selling for the testing so I've artificially like that's artificially being boosted by the fact that like a lot of the money I spent was to go into items that I knew would sell um, so hopefully a fair bit of that damage will come back quickly but like I know some of it's a loss so I'm gonna have to replace that with new things um, my goals for this week I'm trying to be wealthy by the end of t like eventually not right away um, so my goal for this week would be to make at least a million gil again in 14 uh, I'd ideally like to be to push my total net worth back up north of 7 million uh, so at least 650,000 that needs to be profit I can afford to invest a little I can afford to spend on anything I need um, but I'd like the majority of that to be profit I'd like to make a hundred thousand gross in wow when I open up that mailbox next week um, but I'd like that to push me to 550,000 total net worth so I've been buying some recipes and stuff on alt still so that's only 70k profit that still gives me 30k for buying up some materials for recipes to restock and all of that um, and then I would like to level a little bit so I would like to get my black mage from 72 to 73 not setting a big goal because I've got destiny 2 this week I've got Call of Duty this week, and I've got a lot to do in World of Warcraft this week. Um, in WoW, I would like to do, uh, I would like to finish the Warrior to 50 this week. I would like to do the Scourge event on all four of the characters I have to make sure that every slot of theirs is up to 110. Um, every slot it'll give me. I don't know what all the loot table and that's gonna gonna entail, and I've tried not to spoil it too much because that it's kind of a delightful event to go in blind. Um, and then I would actually like the Warrior to join them. So I'd like five characters done and prepped. Uh, that means quest logs cleared, 
Uh, personal inventory cleared. Bank can be stacked to the nines. That's fine. But I need personal inventory cleared. Bank cleared. I need those five characters in a done state. Anything else I do between now and the expansion on any of those characters, um, daily uh, stuff for professions, restocks for professions. Um, if I want to go grind a rep or get a ma or anything I want to take a break and do, uh, every time I log on, I can do all that stuff. But every time I log off, I want to clear that quest log. I want to clear that inventory, mail things off, storm in the bank, so that whenever I do decide to log out and that does end up being the last time I log into that character they are ready um, come the expansion to get in there and and get after it um, I would also like the other three alts the ones down in their 30s uh, to get to 35 I don't think that's a hard goal um, the levels get longer as they go so 30 to 35 is not nearly as hard as if I was trying to get those all from 45 to 50 um, just trying to get in front of it I know that I have busy weeks going uh, in the weeks to come and so my goal was to get at least four levels a day and actually I needed when I first did the average to get all four on time by uh, by November 22nd I needed them all to be getting uh, 4.9 levels a day and actually I've been staying ahead of pace enough that I'm down to like I think it's 3.9 um, as of today, I don't know. I, so it, the numbers come down, but like it's still not fast enough because I know there's days coming up that I'm going to be busy in other games. I'm going to be busy working. I'm going to be busy um, doing things outside of game in here in the real world. Uh, and all of that needs to be done. Um, so if I don't want to fall behind in these games. So this is just kind of my way of wrapping my my head around like what needs to get done. And it's a pretty big task list, but it's a it's a week. So like I don't have to play a game I don't want to play on any one night. And when I do log in, I just I have this checklist and I can just work my way down it. Um, and that way, I, I think people often underestimate the amount of things that they can achieve with slow iterative work. Um, it's easy to say, oh, I'll just make this in a week. I'll just make this in a, in a you know, in a year or whatever. And, or like, I, I think when we look at the short term, the week, the day, uh, what I can get tonight, man, can I make a hundred thousand gold today? Um, I think that we tend to overestimate what can get done. But when we look at that year, when we look at what it is, when you do a small, reasonable goal week in, week out for 52 weeks in a row, um, I think people underestimate just how far you can make it. Uh, and so I know when I do a better job documenting my progress so that I really don't like, take four and six weeks off and I'm like, oh, I was just doing it the other day. No, I wasn't. Um, it really helps me like move the needle forward. So just kind of chipping away at it. Um, and my goal in WoW and, and 14 is to be in 2021 uh, the wealthiest I've, I've ever been in those games um, in total Golden Gill. Um, I'd also like to have the most characters at cap I've ever had. Um, every expansion, obviously, the caps move so that that number kind of can shift slightly, but it's, it's usually easier to constantly drive it higher. Um, and that's, that's really kind of my big goals there. Uh, enjoy Call of Duty. Enjoy Beyond Light. I don't have any expectations for either game, uh, so it should just be gameplay for gameplay's sake, uh, which is a really easy way to go into something new and different. Uh, and I, I think that's really it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these posts, what you think maybe they could look more like, uh, what, what you wish, like general progress reports. Um, how does it help motivate you guys to do things? Um, is there kind of any questions you have around it that I could answer each week? Uh, just let me know kind of what you guys think of this. I would love to kind of post these ideally every Monday or Tuesday. Um, no time like the present to get started. I can already tell you there are Mondays between now and the end of the year when I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do that. Um, so I, <laughs> But that's okay. Don't worry about the times that all fall down. Just uh, just keep getting up and getting after it. This week in week progress, that really is the point. Even if you miss a Monday, even if you don't play games for a whole week, it doesn't matter. It's when you get back, just get right back to it. Uh, it's the same as any, any habit. Gaming is just easier than all of the, I'm going to eat healthier, I'm going to work out more, um, you know, I'm going to learn a language. Uh, it, it's easier to hit my goals in games. So I figure if I can't do it here, I don't know how I'm going to tackle that stuff that there's actually like some resistance on it. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is just a channel where I'm talking about gaming, kinda. Have a good day and I'll see you next time.